plenty of junk on my desk. Plenty of junk in my corner. So if I turn you that way, then listen. It's a lot going on in these streets. Trying to see what else. Uh, oh, yes, that one. Let's see. Doing a little bit of sharing here because sharing is caring for something of the sort. Oh, uh, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? It's not there. Be great. It is still letting me be great. So, anyway, hello, everybody. Hello, hello. I didn't want nothing. I just wanted to come and chat. I done got my thing caught up to my phone charge, Jesus. Come and chit-chat a little bit and open some boxes because I got some stuff that I'm really excited about. Um, one being this little fidget spinner. Like, I don't know how many people order off of the Wish app, but I personally love the Wish app, right? But I ordered a phone holder so that I could have a place to hold my phone or my husband's phone while we are in the kitchen cooking, like doing a recipe or whatever, you know, something to hold our phones. Like if we want to charge it in some place and we need it to be sitting up and we want to use our phones. So I ordered a phone holder and they sent me a fidget spinner. Shout out. Hey, Lulu, thank you for coming by. Um, I ended up with a fidget spinner instead of my phone holder. The cool thing about the Wish app, though, is that they will give you your money back. So, they gave me my money back and they let me keep the fidget spinner. Which I am actively hiding from our three-year-old. Because she <laughs> would tear it up, to say the very least. So, anyway. So, that is one new thing that I got. Um, I have a couple videos that I need to edit and put up so that I can talk about some other stuff that I got. So we'll just talk about these two boxes that I got today. Uh, one being from Hush because apparently I can't stop shopping on the Hush app. Um, because every time I go on there, there is something that is super exciting and new. They've got like hella skincare on there, which I'm trying to be more proactive about my whole skincare situation, right? Because I need to be more proactive about my skin situation. I have had major change since I put out two humans. So I'm trying to, you know, get my life together. I'm trying to get my life together. I'm trying to get my skin balance back out. Um, like prior to having humans like my eyes like I had dark circles but I feel like my face was more one color in like certain spots like this right here like certain stuff just wasn't really visible and I've got these this darkness like kind of on the side of my eyes as well girl I just feel like it wasn't there okay and it's now ever present if you will okay so <clears throat> I'm trying to find a lot of stuff to work on my on my eye situations, you know, get my moisturizations together is what I'm trying to do. So, uh, yeah, so I was reading around and looking at some, um, like, beauty stuff and looking to see what's what and what I should be doing and what I might be able to try and get away with without my face blowing up because that's you know part of it too is that you don't want your face you know what i'm saying on fire you know what i mean you don't want your golly this joint is big good day in the morning <laughs> so anyway i picked up this um 
Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Crown of My Canopy because I have been slightly obsessing. Hey, Dad, thank you for coming by. Slightly obsessing over picking this up, and I um. I don't know why I struggled with spending five dollars for this because it's five dollars okay and it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be I don't know what I was expecting but I guess I was expecting something oh I don't know almost like the size of a NARS blush I don't know why I was expecting that which this is total you know that's two two totally different things um so for five dollars and especially with a NARS blush you spend in okay Anybody got any NARS blushes? Okay, listen. An NARS blush, as bomb as they are, okay? They're giving you all the pigment, okay? But as bomb as they are, an NARS blush is running you, what, $30? So, anyway. So, I felt like this was a good deal. I finally broke down and just did it, right? So, I'm excited. Let me see. I'm trying to find the, you know, wet and wild, keep a perforated line on there. So, I'm trying to find it. Found it, but now I gotta peel it off. It's the work of the enemy. The enemy don't want you to open your stuff. If they wanna charge you a little bit of money for it, you be excited about it, and then you can't get in it. Lord of mercy, Jesus Christ. Okay, here we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. Whew, that was, oh, it's so pretty. Don't you hate when you buy stuff and it's like really pretty and you don't wanna use it? But you got to use it because you pay for it. I mean, not necessarily, but it's giving you views, okay? Isn't it pretty? It's really, really pretty. And, you know, Wet n Wild has come a long way from, you know, when the Saints was in school, okay? Trying to be cute back in the day. And uh, I wasn't never part of that number because Mary Louise was not with it, okay? So I'm going to rub my finger over it. Ooh, it's kind of like into my skin, but that's going to give a good little highlight right there. Let's see. Put it on right on the cheek. Well, you can't see it from back here, can it? It wasn't that deep. But anyway, it's very pretty. Rub my finger over again. See if y'all can see it. Ew. It's really pretty. You can see the sheen of it in the um with the light. I like it. Yes, I like it. Okay, it can stay, it can stay. It was good for five dollars. It's a good investment for five dollars. And I have been looking for, oh, maybe if I swatched it like that, that would work, huh? <laughs> I have been looking for, um, I'm slightly obsessed currently with like darker highlighters, like rosy gold, but like, I don't know, just brown girl friendly highlighters, like just a deeper shade for highlighting, like this, oh, well, yeah, it is this one. I dropped my blush palette and I'm so sad. This is my Juvia's Place um, Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1. So sad I dropped it and I broke my orange blush. I need to look at Asian Gorgeous Lee's video on how to fix that. It's just like on the top. And I really could stand to like throw that away and I would still be okay. But who is this don't want to do that? I wants to keep my, or my orange blush, okay? But anyway, speaking of darker highlights, like you can use this shade for a highlight and I can't move it too much, but... This shade here is good for a highlight, and this one here. Thank you, Dad. I'm going to try it. Is it going to set right? I'm so nervous about putting that liquid in there and it don't set back right. I'm going to be sad. Y'all, I don't want to be sad. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be sad. But, um, but, yeah. But those for darker highlights, this here and this here, like, that's going to be on and popping this summer, you know, when I roast over or without. And just because we're talking about it, Okay, I'm going to do it. This is the volume two on Juvia's Place to Hire and Blush Palette. And it's giving you lighter vibes. Um, yes, I told you. I could listen. I told you. <laughs> and I love blush. Like, I remember going to MAC and the girl that was um, color matching me back then who made me an NW45, which, anyway, um... Because every brown girl, you know, if you were over a certain level of brown, you were NW45. But I remember her putting, um, oh crap. As soon as I wanted to say it, I can't, I can't say it now. But anyway, I remember her putting that blush on me and was like, oh, this will just lift your face a little bit. And it was kind of like more so this shade, but it had like some, some flex going to it. And it wasn't sweet as cocoa. It was something else that was like, 
you know, after I got into makeup, I realized it was a pretty generalized, like, blush that they put all brown girls in. But, um, but yeah, I remember that. And so, like, excuse me, I went wild on blush because I just fell in love with having blush on my face. I thought it was great. So, then I graduated to, like, okay, wait a minute, who is it? Then I graduated to, like, orange blushes and... Uh, it was cream blushes. Next was NYX cream blushes. And I had an orange and a pink. And I used to blend them joints down. And then I was obsessed with this blush here, which I got after the release. This blush was um, a part of the Villainous Villains collection in MAC. And it's called Bite of an Apple. And it is a red blush. Like, it's a red powder blush. It's not as red as I once thought that it was. Let y'all see. So it's not as red as I once thought that it was, but and that wasn't a good swatch. But at any rate, I was obsessed, so I had to have it. So I bought it from somebody online, and I think I spent way more than they were selling it for. Yeah, it's kind of pinky, but it's giving you it's giving you pinky red vibes, like right. But then, okay. But then, you know, I had got a little change in my pocket and I had got rid of my makeup stash and gave it to my best friend at the time. And then, uh, like, one day I was just like, oh, I'll just buy, like, a little bit of makeup and I'll try to start my collection over. And I was like, oh, this time when I do my collection, because, you know, sister had a little coin, I was like, oh, I'm going to go high-end with my blushes and I'm going to do high-end makeup, right? Now this, this, is giving you all the red and this is exhibit a hey ash thank you for coming by hi this is exhibit a by nars okay this right here now this right here oh sugar foot this right here is giving you all the red okay it's giving you all your red light okay now okay it's giving you all of it okay all of it Exhibit A by NARS. I love this blush. Now, that's giving you much more red than the other one. But, I love it, babe. I'm here for it, okay? Let me get this off my hand. My hand ashy, girl. And, just, um, yes! 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 I have done that with that as well. And, y'all, I don't know if you know, if the Saints is still out here brush cleaning or what the Saints is doing, but I know as for me and my makeup stash, this here, y'all need to get y'all some of this. And I got it off of Beautylish like 700 years ago. That's why it looked like it looked, but that's not neither here nor there, okay? I don't want to be judged, okay? But this Perry and Spirits, baby, is giving you pledge, citrus pledge realness, okay? And it is also cleaning your brushes. Okay. It is giving you much citrusness. Okay. But it's giving you life. So when I do swatches and I'm doing videos and I'm like, I need something and I don't have any wipes. And for whatever reason, I done got me a little little stash, little setup situation. It's some cool. You know, we got stuff out of place. We'll talk about this in just a second. But um, I need to get me some wipes. You know what I'm saying? I need me some wipes to be over here in president, okay? President and accounted for. But anyway, I'll take this and I just spray it on me and I'll wipe it off with a little, with a little towel. You know what I'm saying? Because it'll clean your, your, you know, clean up what you got going on too. Now, let's talk about this, okay? Do y'all own a brush holder? Because let me tell you something. First of all, let's discuss how when I ordered this, I ordered black, okay? I did not order, um cut out from the car cut out cardboard from down to the lows with a couple of stencil holes shaped like hearts like that's not what i ordered what i ordered was a black one of these and this is what i ended up with um i paid five or six dollars for it off of ebay which you know okay i'm you know listen i need to get my diy on that's what i need to do i really do but it's very helpful um it's not as sturdy as i would as i hope they would know it beats a blank and i am so enjoying this um just like like when i wash my brushes i also have 
a Lalumia. Let me tell y'all about this Lalumia, okay? This is the solution for the Lalumia, which is $30 for this size bottle, but this came with it, right? So I'm using it very sparingly because who is this will put some Dawn in there and they will have to get with it, okay? But, um, but I have a Lalumia and I got this. Y'all, this is a $150 machine, like maybe more than that, depending on where you find it at. Girls, I found this down to the TJ Maxx on the end cap, okay, in the makeup section for 30 US dollars, okay? 30. $30. It was brand new in the box. $30 in the TJ Maxx on the end cap. And when I went to the front, like I had came home, like I saw it. And I came home and I told my husband about it. And he was like, well, why didn't you buy it? He was like, if it's something that, you know, is going to be beneficial and you're going to use it, then why didn't you buy it? Okay. And I was like, because I didn't want to spend $30 on a machine that would have cost me like $150, which, you know, I was cool with cleaning my brushes. I was just going to get me some brush soap, some brush me off soap from Bubble Babes and keep it cute. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was going to do. But baby. When I got to, so I came home and I went back. This is the only thing about that parent spirit. Now it got me out here looking like Beetlejuice by the back of the hand. But anyway, um, what was I about to say? Oh, when I got, I went back to the store. So when I went back to the store and I got to check out. Okay, first of all, I almost had a conniption because I thought somebody bought it. But they had re like restructured while I had, you know, come home. You know what I'm saying? And went back. Hi, Jana. Thank you for stopping by. I hope I said it right. Is it Jana? 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 Hello. Let me tell you something. My husband is what we all want as an encouraging spouse, okay? <laughs> okay. Encouraging me to spend the coin, okay? So, I go back and I get to check out. Well, when I go to look for it, I can't find it. Oh, I shouldn't do that on camera. But um, when I when I go to look for it, I can't find it. And they, hi Adele. Oh, thank y'all for coming by. I couldn't find it. And I almost had a panic attack. Like, damn it, I should have bought that machine, you know. And um, I looked around a little bit more. And I found it, and I got to the checkout, and the lady was like the assistant manager, and she was like, I'm so glad somebody finally bought that. She said that that thing was sitting in the TJ Maxx, on the end cap, in the clearance section, with the $30 sticker on it, for like a year, almost. I said, who done let the Lulumia sit in here? For thirty dollars for a year, she said. I remember it like it was yesterday, and the lady bought it online, baby. She had bought it online at TJMax.com because apparently that's a thing now. Okay, so she bought it online for a hundred and fifty dollars from Hello. What? Listen, listen. When I tell you, I felt like. It was my year, and that was my machine. Remember, she said it was sitting there for a year, and she said the lady paid $150 online at tjmax.com and bought it back into the store because it was too big. It was. It was. It was a clearance $30 ticket, and she said it had sat there for a year. And she said um, she just did nothing. And I don't even understand. Maybe it got marked down over the course of time. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at the box. But it had a $30 sticker on it, baby. Okay. She said it sat there, and she said nobody bought it. Nobody bought it. I said, why ain't none of y'all buy it? Yes, girl, she said on the internet. Or they was on the internet buying the Lulumia on the TJMax.com, baby. Okay. So she said that, um, she said that it had just sat there, and I was the first person to get it. I was the first person. Hey, Alicia. I said, well, all right then. Oh, a Lalumia machine. But that's what you was asking me about. The brush cleaner, the makeup brush cleaner. Now, they talking about you could fit like 20 brushes in here. That ain't my ministry either, okay? Because I'm not finna overload this mug and it barely won't. Listen, anyway. It sounds like a little baby wa washing machine when you cut it on. It sounds like a little baby washing machine. So, 
that was something else. Okay, so the other thing that I got off the Hush app, and y'all, I'm telling y'all, this Hush app, this Hush app, listen, I'm not gonna keep telling y'all, yes I am, I'm not gonna keep telling y'all that y'all need to get this app. I'm telling you, listen, listen, saints of God, listen. Nobody needs to spend extra money, right? But we're all trying to like do this self-care, you know, retail therapy thing, right? Without breaking the bank, right? So I'm, I need to give me some sponsorship from the Hush app. We need to like go flood them and tell them that I need PR packages and I need uh, discount codes. Like I need all of that from them. Because let me tell you something. I have averaged about two orders a month for the last three months, okay? And they haven't been bad. But the Hush app is shophush.com, which is their website, which you can go to their website. And I think if you spend like over $25, you get free shipping on your purchase, which isn't bad, which is very easy on there too. But if you use their app, if you download the Hush app, you don't pay any shipping at all. Like, no shipping. <laughs> don't laugh at me. <laughs> Y'all heard my husband laughing at me. You don't pay any shipping. And listen, I hate a shipping. Listen, I will not buy something because of the shipping. Depends on the shipping. I do not. <laughs> do not. I can't stand shipping. Let me tell y'all a secret, right? I wanted to buy the crayon case. And the crayon case, I can't stand it, okay? <laughs> well, see, Adele, that's why I came back to YouTube. Because I'm not like... A super pro at makeup I own a lot of makeup because I like to experiment with stuff but I'm not like some super pro like I'm not out here just busting it down highlighting and eyebrowing and you know what I'm saying and creating special effects like I'm not out here like like I just like to look like myself when I put on makeup in the everyday chick I'm just I just want everybody to look like they self when they put on the makeup so but the Hush app, you don't pay any shipping on it, and they have a lot of different brands on there. At no first, I thought it was no shipping. No shipping. None. So when all those boxes come, there's no shipping? No, these pink ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. The pink boxes. Uh -huh. See, he trying to be shady. See, that's why he can't take them nowhere. See? Uh -huh. <laughs> and he pays a lot of shipping, too. Let's not exclude him from the shipping fiasco. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, but they sell a lot of different brands on there. <laughs> Listen, we canceled our P.O. PO box because we was doing the most. And we was tired of having to go by it. We was just like, man, forget it. Just send it to the house. So, um, anyway, they sell a lot of brands on there. And they sell a lot of, like, big name brands on there. Um, and they have some of the most amazing palettes on there, which are dupes. Most of them are dupes. Well, I won't say most, but, um, did it, is it? Okay. So, um, dupe palette. So, I'll show y'all a few of those in just a minute. But anyway, they sell the Ordinary on there, which the Ordinary is a, um, higher end but lower cost, um, skincare company, right? So I had been reading around and we was talking, I was talking about my dark circles and stuff in the first beginning about my dark circles, son and niece. You know, I don't really have a bag situation. I'm not getting my Erica Badu on, but I am, however, with the darkness. I got the twin brother darkness around my eyes, right? So I was reading and they was like, you should try hyaluronic acid, right? So we're going to see what the hyaluronic acid do, okay? It says a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. And this was $7? Yeah, $7. And my Wet n Wild highlighter was 5 So I paid $12. No shipping. $12. So I'm going to see how this goes. Because I'm not really hip. But I could use some moisture. You know, after you expel humans, it'd be real in the field, okay? And that's a pretty decent sized bottle, I think, for um for seven bucks and for what it is, because apparently this is really expensive stuff. So this is a what size bottle are you? Do it say, do it say, do it say? Yeah. So one fluid ounce. 
Yeah, like they're saying, like I the reviews and stuff all say that the brand is really good and they sell like argan oils, like cold pressed argan oils and um some other some other oil. I can't think of what it is right now. But I would definitely try it. And I think that they have the um <laughs> I think that they have the um vitamin c on the hush app as well adele like i said it's no shipping and it's like not, not a minimum or you know anything like that in order to get the free shipping on the hush app either so yeah yeah so they got the ordinary on there they get like i said i got my wet and wild highlighter from there um and i've got these dupe palettes that i got i'm gonna show y'all some of the dupe palettes that i picked up from them um let's see these two this one and this one. yeah so i have four palettes from them um the first one is the bad habit aura palette which i have right now uh a video up excuse me okay i have a video up right now uh, from this palette where i created a smoky eye and this palette the um, bad habit aura palette has a mirror in it and your colors right and this palette is a dupe of the anastasia beverly hills uh prism palette i listen i don't know okay much about the anastasia beverly hills prism palette except for i didn't like the way that it felt when i swatched it in the store like i was so hype about it because i was pressed to get to this color here on the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. First of all, who is this that didn't want to pay $40 for no palette? That would be she. And two, <clears throat> I just the, it just didn't feel as great as I wanted it to feel when I tried it out. So much so that I was like, oh, I can live without it. The price tag coupled with, you know, that feel of the formula, I could live without it. This cost me $12. 12 compared to 45 42 what did they say? 42 I think. Okay. Twelve dollars, and I mean we we in here like swimwear. Boom, we in here. Okay, we we, okay. Listen, we are in here like swimwear. Okay, works for me. And they're soft. Like some of the shades are really soft and buttery. Like, I mean, I mean, twelve dollars. I mean, you still can get the same look that you want. You know what I mean? So it's all good. Works for me. The next palette that I have. Um, and the quality of the palettes are really, really nice as well. But the next palette that I have is a dupe on, um, the Huda Beauty palettes that came out. And this is the Aftershock palette. And it's really pretty. And, um, there's actually a collection of these. You pay $10. You can pay $10 for each. Or you can do the bundle of four palettes this size for $3, uh, $30. So, I thought that also was a good deal. I also picked, uh, let me see, the Bad Habit Athena palette, which is a dupe of a Huda Beauty palette. So that's that there. And I also got the Aphrodite palette, which is the other dupe of a Huda Beauty palette. So their palettes are bomb, and they come with these mirrors, and it just don't get no better than that. I mean, it just, it just doesn't get much better than that. Oh, oh, I gotta find a place with the stuff. Oh, hold on. Oh, my small palette. Put that back in the right place. All right. So, I showed y'all the hyaluronic acid, which I'm really, really overly excited to use that. So, we got the hush order out the way. Now, the other thing that I got is in this box here. And I, listen this i tried not to be so excited i didn't even track my packaging because i didn't want to be too pressed okay i didn't want to be too pressed but i was super duper excited to get this package and i was excited when i opened the door and the usps man said unto me you've got mail okay i was excitable okay so the packaging i am a packaging freak if you watch any of my unboxing videos you already know that i like for a company to give me my life okay when i open the packaging so we got some bubbles on the top some little peanuts i mean not bubbles peanuts 
we have a uh, securely wrapped palette, okay? Because we got a palette in the box. That's all I got, you know? Let me tell y'all. This package is from Juvia's Place. And Juvia's Place just had one of the bombest sales <coughs> that I have seen in a mighty long time. Oh, this is a big old palette. Okay, so take this off and put this in the garbage they dropped it seemed as though they dropped the prices of their palettes and then they were giving a 25 percent off as well okay and then they also made shipping free over 15 dollars their lowest palette started at 17.50 so you're technically not even going to be able to spend 15 dollars on their website um which worked for me so again i paid no shipping and this palette is huge uh, I wasn't ready. Okay, so first of all, pineapple. Second of all, this packaging. Their packaging is always so nice. It's always so nice. So this is the Magic Palette from Juvia's Place. And it says, opposites attract. The Magic Palette was inspired by the moon and sun goddesses of the wild. A beautiful fusion of cool and warm tones, vibrantly infused with 16 ultra-pressed pigments. Perfect for a day to nighttime look perfect for day two nighttime looks don't want to put an extra a in there i sound slow but um i also have two palettes from them two other palettes and they are much smaller so i think that this is the masquerade mini from juvia's place so it actually comes in a larger size and i'm not sure if it's this large and that's the comparison of it there i'm not sure if it's this large or not but this is what the masquerade palette looks like which i really really like this and if you're not a color person but you're kind of neutral you still get the neutral and you're able to like ease your way into color i think but juvia's place is not playing with the kids okay the juvia's place palettes are extremely extremely pigmented and listen they are here for you in your time of need okay the colors are extremely extremely pigmented so let me know if y'all want to see like a um not really a review but maybe like a look with this and we can talk about this palette more um, the other palette that I have is the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place because I am an absolute color freak. I don't know if y'all can tell, like, I love colors. I love different shades of colors. It makes me happy. This shade in particular down here is a rose gold, okay? Rose gold. It's butamous. It's butamous. Like, it's butamous, butamous. It's, like, really pretty, okay? Really pretty. Let me see. If I could put it on my ashy hand. And that is straight out the pan. Not a whole lot of dipping. That's what that looks like. I am ashy than a mug. Like, the back of my hand looks like Beetlejuice's face. No lie. But that is, listen, bomb. Okay? So, those are those. That is that. And those are those. So, let's open this magic palette, baby. Because I'm thoroughly excited. And their packaging is always bomb. And I don't, I wonder if they did that sale because they're supposed to be coming out with um, some new palettes and some new lipsticks. Because y'all know they're doing lipsticks now at Juvia's Place. I do plan on purchasing some of those. I just couldn't make my mind up on colors. And I own a lot of lipstick. So I don't really need to buy any more lipstick. But I will be. So anyway. And then they bubble wrap the palette again inside the box, which makes me even happier, okay? So this is the palette. It's big as my head, like, and I got a big old head, okay? So, oh, and this is raised, like, the magic by Juvia's is raised. It just feels so rich. It does. Oh. you got your your day and your night uh which is you know representative of the two goddesses there so you got like your day i mean day and night oh i'm excited y'all and this and this those are blues this is thoroughly exciting so so exciting omg like i don't even want to swatch it it's so pretty you talking about this one up here that's pretty too and it's matte so that's gonna make for a wonderful brow highlight as well oh my gosh it's super pretty like 
you got um let's see a mat a mat a mat uh, a mat a mat and a mat and all the other shades here are shimmer shades but oh my god and this is like these two over here are giving me i missed the last comment i'm sorry these two over here are giving me duochrome realness <sighs> let me let me clean my good hand okay let me get my good hand clean i just i, I just need to oh, it is giving much duochrome life oh and that's like that rosy gold. It's a little more pink, but it is giving that as well. Let's um, let's see. I got that other color on my hand, but I need the phone to ding when it's gonna give. Yeah, it's a little more pinky than the um the first one that's on there. But look at that. And I gotta swatch these navy, these blues, cause it's it's calling me. So icy we have here. It feels like velvet, like in real life, like not being funny. It feels very velvety. Oh, I just love Juju's place. Look, straight out the pan. So that's what you can expect to get on your eyeball, okay? Or wherever you choose to put it. A blush, I don't know what you want to do with it. But that's like a blue purple and it is amaze balls. And this navy, the navy feels a little not really buttery maybe a little more chalky than the other one oh but it's gorgeous i just i can't i don't know how juvia's place does it i don't know i don't know how they do it and i'm i'm just excited that i'm on the wave now too so i'm gonna swatch this one. Ooh, that is very pretty that gold is amazing Ain't nothing like scratching some gold on some brown skin. I'm here to tell you. These colors are amazing. Yeah, I'm going to be in here playing with this palette on tomorrow, okay? I'm going to be in here tomorrow with the Magic Palette. Working my life and soul salvation out. That is all right right there. Oh, you was talking about that one. Yeah, that's it right there. Bye. Right here. O-M-G. So... The gag is that this palette normally goes for like $32 on um, Juvia's Place. And a shipping was like $6. So I'd have been looking at $40, which I would have paid $40 for one of their palettes because I already am familiar with the quality of the palette. It wasn't like I was sticking my neck out. It was just like a, I feel like when I go on the Juvia's Place website, it's just more so a matter of what color do I want? Like what colors do I want from them? It's not like, um, uh, I don't know if this palette is going to perform or it is or it's not going to perform. Like, it's definitely going to perform. Like, nobody, I don't think anybody that I've ever seen review their stuff be like, oh, no, it was a hit or miss. You know, this palette was on, this palette was, like, they're across the board consistently. The reviews are like, bomb. You know, now I know in the beginning, from what I understand, they had some issues with like customer service in the first beginning, but um, I haven't had to use utilize customer service and um, I have not had any issues. And I know that they, people were getting like broken palettes and stuff like that. Like they were having legit issues, but I have not um, had any issues with them. So anyway, um, anything that you buy on Juvia's Place, I feel like you're not going to be served wrong and i don't feel like you'll be like getting duped you ever bought something like especially makeup like you buy it and you get it and then you're like the fuck like this ain't what i want like i don't want this you know what i mean i never feel like that with them and um like i said that's after having their blush palettes um the zulu palette and the um lord it won't even much fit nowhere jesus it's so large oh matter of fact i left a space for it I left the space for it. I did. Def, you need a planner? I bought, Listen, they had planners at the Walmart. Y'all, I'm so scared of brain. They had planners at the Walmart for a dollar. This planner was a dollar at the Walmart. And I had, and I got a little one too, because I couldn't decide. And then I ended up at checkout and I was like, but it's a dollar. So I bought it. And the little ones were 75 cents. So anyway, somebody need a planner? Anybody need a planner? I will get it out the door to you. Okay. Um. What was I talking about? Okay, I had left a space for my magic palette. 
it, it is up and ready. Oh Lord, girl, I was like a dollar, and I got my sister in law or something, so <laughs> I don't, I don't have nobody to give it to. Maybe I'll send it to my daughter, I'll send it to my oldest. My hubby bought me this shirt. We have matching shirts. We're not a matchy matchy couple, but the hubster bought me this shirt. Ain't it fabulous, darling? It's fabulous. Fabulous, darling. I love it. And I don't even remember where he got it from. I gotta ask him. Um, let me find out where he got it from. I can't. Who oh, I sent it to you. It's, in, it's probably in he and I's um, group chat. Oh my gosh, I love me some Juvia's Place, baby. And these colors is not going nowhere. You need, you're going to need some help getting this off. So, tomorrow is Friday. And I have done a, um, a order at the Walmart for the pickup. Side note, okay? If you have not utilized the Walmart pickup, I don't know what you're waiting on, Saints. Okay? Go on down to the Walmart app and get you some stuff for the be, uh, to be picked up at the Walmart, okay? Because some of that stuff, let me give y'all a real life testimony, okay? We ordered our daughter's bedding set. When we looked at the bedding set on um, online, it was like $50, right? And we had got a gift card, so we was like, okay, cool. We'll buy the bedding, $50. That ain't that bad, right? Okay. So, <laughs> good night, Mariah. Good night. Thank you, Dab. I appreciate y'all coming by. I do, Adele. I do. I absolutely do. Absolutely do. Yes. I absolutely do. And I think that it is great. And they tried to hide it, though. Love you, too. They tried to hide it, Adele. They thought they were some slick Mickey Fickies. That's what they thought. But, baby, I found that savings catcher, Okay. Ain't going to swindle me out of my little extra money you put into my e-gift card, okay? So, <laughs> so, but we were going to get the bedding for $50. And so, we ended up um, putting it in a cart. And I was like, oh, I'll just do the pickup and we could just pick it up whenever it's ready. So, I put it in a cart and I go and I look for like some bottles or something else. And I come back. And they tell me when I go to check out, because I did the pickup, that the thing was like 26 bucks. 26 from $40. Now, that's a quite a bit of savings, okay? So, if you need something from the Walmart, okay, and you don't feel like surfing through the Walmart, because it'd be a struggle sometimes at the Walmart, okay? You can do the pickup and on some items you'll end up paying less or like even if you don't want to do like shipping and pay for shipping or you don't want to order $35 worth of stuff to get free shipping you just do the pickup you don't have to pay for no shipping and they send it to the store they'll send you an email whenever it's ready boop, 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 and you be there and there and that'll be that so i'm here for the pickup all of that to say that I did a pickup for, um, I ordered something for Olivia and I also am trying, I'm going to try out a, um, micellar water by Yes2, the brand Yes2 cucumbers actually is the one that I got and it was six, six seventy four. Um, and my current micellar water that I'm using is by Simple and I got it on the end cap at the Target for $3.48. And this bottle size, which is 6.7 fluid ounces, normally goes for $7 or so. And I got it for $3.50. And I really liked it. And I, you know, I wouldn't mind trying it again, but I am a huge fan of the Yes2 brand. The Yes2 Cucumber Face Wipes, like, <clears throat> are my favorite, actually, to take my makeup off with. But, um, well, secondary to Meissler Water, because this did make me like Meissler Water. I really do like it. Um, and I feel like it strips everything off for the most part. And, um, and then I go in with my facial face wash and then, you know, my, um, my other stuff. So, um, toner and my, um, face oil. Why can't I think Jiminy crickets? So anyway, put this lip chap on because I'm out here. Looking like Beetlejuice by the back of the hand. I got color swatches that won't come off. But I'm not going to hold you good saints up. I have been on here for 45 minutes. I was shooting for an hour. But I don't have nothing else to share. Unless somebody got some questions. Y'all got some questions. Y'all want to conversate about something in particular. 
because I could do that too for these next few 15 minutes. But if not, I won't hold y'all things up. No, I ain't gonna hold you up. Let me see here. What else? But make sure y'all go download the, the Hush app and get go get your life. Because they just put Neutrogena products on there, which I plan on trying. So they have the Hydro Boost products on there, which is going to give you the moistures and things in the face. And I'm here for it. I'm hearing really great things about it. And so I want to try it and, um, and see what it's like for me with this hyaluronic acid. And some of the new Neutrogena stuff has the hyaluronic acid in it as well. So I am just too anxious to try this stuff before cream so i guess like you wash your face do your toner excuse me and then like if i like before my moisturizer i would use it so it says it's for hydration and repair we're going to see <laughs> i know right so i am just recently, I'm fresh off the learning boat of undertones. Under Knowing your undertones is a big deal. Um, depending on how much you want to spend on foundation and where you want to start. Um, if you're wanting to do like drugstore brand of foundations and stuff like that. I will go to like an Ulta and try to match your, your um, foundation. Because you can get a drugstore foundation out of there. Um, it's going to be higher than going to Walmart, but like if you want to just like match, I will go there because they normally have testers at the drugstores um, versus being in the middle of CVS trying to test your foundation and they don't normally have testers there. So anyway, if you have like green veins, like you can tell that your veins are of a green nature or um, what was the other thing? It's like, yeah, if, you're, if your veins are kind of like green, like when they pop and you can see them, then you more than likely are a warm undertone, which means you have like golden or yellow undertones. And if you um, burn easy, like in the sun, more than likely have red undertones, which means you need to get you a, a foundation that's a little redder. Um, I personally match my foundation like on my chest, so it gives me kind of like my face is a little... I don't know, I guess a little darker than my neck or whatever, but I tend to not fully bring my foundation down anyway. But anyway, I swatch mine on my chest um, to see like what shade blends in with my skin. So while you're testing and you put one on, you want the one, the one that's going to work for you more than likely is the one that blends in with your skin and you can't really tell where it is. So even if you don't even go the undertone route and you just say, hmm, these three foundations kind of look like where I might be just take a little bit and swatch it on your chest of each of them and just see which one blends into your skin and you'll kind of be able to tell whether you need to go more warm or more cool um or even if you need to go neutral because sometimes that's the thing too and it's something that I learned the other week I went to a makeup class um last month and um something that I learned was that a lot of black women are actually a hodgepodge of undertones it just depends on where you're talking about in your face so um sometimes some of us are really good or better with neutral undertones as opposed to a warm or cool undertone so all of that to say swatch them on your chest and even if you go to a sephora and like say you wanted to do like fenty you know you wanted to do a fenty foundation um I would always advise, side note, to get samples of foundations at Sephora because they will give you samples at Sephora. I'm not really sure about Ulta because when I need a sample of a foundation, I just immediately go to Sephora if it's a high-end foundation. So, um, and some people, like, even though they have people there to help you with your foundation, like... Sometimes they don't do the best for you. That's why I hate going to MAC counters because, like, they like to generalize a little bit at the MAC counter, in my personal opinion. And I haven't been to one in ages because, you know, it gave me a starting point. But um, in a lot of their foundations, I just didn't like because I felt like they were too heavy. Anyway, sometimes people kind of generalize and they want to put you in a specific space. But it's always better for you to try it yourself and see how you feel about it. Um, and see what kind of reaction you get to it. Like a lot of people were saying that the Fenty was oxidizing on them and making them look Oompa Loompa-ish. 
But the truth of the matter is, is that when the Fenty foundation dries down, yeah, see that's what I'm saying? Like sometimes you just be like, what the hell? And sometimes it's a matter of the coverage as well. Like I personally like for my foundation to be skin like, and I don't like full coverage foundation. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I want my face to breathe and not that your face can't breathe with full coverage foundation. Um, I just feel like I'm not a person that needs full coverage foundation either. Like I don't have like acne spots or like dark spots that really, really are of a concern. So I want to be able to just put my foundation on, do the rest of my face and be done. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. I just, I just don't feel like I need like the cake look like what I deem the fashion, fair, old school fashion fair look, fair, like the old ladies used to look in church and stuff. I don't want to look like that. Like I want to look like me and I want to have my foundation on and people be like, oh, your skin is so good. And I don't even have to say, oh, I got on foundation, girl. I want them to just be like, yeah, I'm a light coverage natural type of person. I don't really, I, 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 I can't do too much. So even if the darkness in my skin does come through, that's fine by me because I want to look like myself and I want that natural look with the protection of having that on, you know what I mean? The foundation. Um, and side note, what I was saying about Fenty though was that what actually was happening was that people weren't allowing the foundation to dry. So when it dries, it dries darker, um, the Fenty does. So you have to keep that in mind as well, which I said, which is why I say that those samples are the best thing that you could do at Sephora because sometimes they do oxidize and they'll turn you orange and sometimes um they just you know they have to have a time to dry and so your shade might vary or you may have to mix but with them having so many i don't think you have to mix now my go-to like if i needed foundation and i was in a pinch um high-end foundation is makeup forever their their ultra hd foundation i love that foundation like it can give me more, but I don't go for more. And it gives me just enough coverage to feel like myself still and not like totally sheer. So that's my favorite. I'm currently testing out the Fenty and also the NARS Sheer Glow, which Fenty has a price point of $34 and the NARS Sheer Glow is $47. And the Makeup Forever is like $43, like $42 or $43. Um... And, you know, the price is just going to vary depending upon, one, what your pockets say you can do, and two, you know, how much you should get out of it. Because, honestly, you should discard your um, foundation, like, every six months. So, or use it up in six months. Yeah. So, because of the breakdown of the chemicals, blah, 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 blah. I personally have had foundations, my makeup forever, I had for, like, a very long time. And um, I didn't have any issues, but... No, you know. Now, an another foundation, depending on the finish that you like for your foundation, that I'm also using is the um. Let me let me grab it. Is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, and this is gonna give you like a matte finish in your foundation, if you know that's what you want. I really like it. Um, I have a video up where I have this foundation on. The eye look wasn't that bomb and Jalen did something and I ended up with like eyeliner right here. But <laughs> I have on the black turban. I can't remember which video it was. I think it was my beauty bakery video. I have this foundation on if you want to kind of see what the finish is like. And you know me in real life so you kind of know what my skin looks like anyway. Um, so yeah, and these are the samples from Sephora. So this is my Fenty sample. I'm a 420 and my other one is in here somewhere i can't remember oh and i'm also trying this nyx total control foundation which is a drop foundation which is pretty sheer too like if you want full coverage with this you need like eight drops of it because it, it's a dropper formula it's not like um in a bottle this is a pour it has it's just an open top Try Ulta and see. And even if they don't, like I said, if you go online to Walmart, Walmart has those foundations and they should be able to do the pickup for you as well. And it's only $5.94 at Walmart. 
five dollars and ninety four cents down to the Walmart. Um, if you you know you know like that option as well, that's just the price is right for me. You know, currently this foundation, this NYX is um I think the price point on it is fourteen, but I got it for seven. I want to say I got it for like eight dollars because Ulta had a sale. And it was already on sale, and then it was like buy something, get one half off, or something, something that I ended up getting it for. I'm trying to find my NARS sample. I don't know. I didn't probably put it down the bottom. Oh, here you go. And the NARS Sheer Glow. They put them in little like tubs for you, and I leave them in my bag so I remember which one is which and put your color on it too. What shade you are. Just my face box. I got a lot of shit in there. So, <laughs> anyway. That um that matte and Portland though I do I really do like it and I want to try the dewy um they have a dewy and smooth or something like that of uh, that um Maybelline fit me as well so I'm gonna try that next I think and I'm gonna try it in my shade which is 355 coconut um yeah and for five dollars if you have to order it on online um. The five dollars isn't that bad because then you're spending like fifteen dollars, right, for three colors. That you know, even if you buy one that's darker, you can always end up maybe using it as your summer shade. So you know, it might still work out <clears throat> for what you need it for. I hope I helped a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. I got different price points and different things that you know you want to do or don't want to do with your foundation. So. You're welcome, you're welcome. Did you have any other questions, Miss Teacher Man? You gotta teach tomorrow? Girl, it's late, good. Cause you in the same time frame I'm on. Cause I think I came when I was like nine or something like that. It was already kinda late. I need to edit these videos and get them up. <laughs> I wanna be great. I be trying to be super mom and super wife and it don't be working out all the time. Oh, you spring breaking this week. Ew. My sister-in-law is a teacher in West Philadelphia, excuse me, and she, um, they had spring break last week. Yeep, 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 yeep. Dog, it's April already. Damn. It is April already. I gotta get my life together. I gotta get some stuff accomplished. I got, you know, I got goals written down, but I got to, I got to kick it in the high gear. With that being said, I'm trying to make sure my children, hey amen, ain't waking up. It's April. It's freaking April. Like, I just realized yesterday that I only got four months before my youngest child turns one. Like, four months. Four months. And last April, we were finding out that she was a she. And she's going to be one in four months. <sighs> Life just goes so fast sometimes, y'all. It just goes so fast. So fast. And now I'm back playing with this fidget spinner. Maybe I need to keep it for myself instead of giving it to the four-year-old. Maybe. Yeah. Y'all, this is a total side note. I have some of the, the neighbor downstairs. I cannot. Uh-huh. I cannot. They are loud and they be going through their domestic disputes and it just be a lot. <laughs> it, it just seems too much, okay? I'm gonna give me a sign made that say team too much. That's what I'm gonna do. Maybe I should make me a shirt that say team too much. That's what I'm gonna do. Because it is way too much going on. Way too much. But y'all, I had done got down to this hour and I'm not gonna hold you lovely saints no more. Adele, I hope you enjoy your spring break, ma'am. Because spring break is life for you teachers. Mm, it is a blessing unto your soul. But I appreciate you all for coming by and watching this. And if you ever need to re-reference, I'm going to leave it up on my page as a live. And I think that I'm going to start to come on once a week to conversate with the saints. We get this viewership up. 
And uh, I'm going to get these videos out and get my life together. Okay? Start accomplishing some of these goals, baby. Get it dead or whatever. We're going to do this. Okay? Get it done. All right? Hey, Red. Thanks for stopping by. I've been on like an hour. I'm finna get off. I done talked these poor saints to death. Okay? But I appreciate you all for coming by. I appreciate you all for supporting me. Um, most of you already know where I reside on the internet. You can find me on Twitter at Miss Dina 610 Beauty. Okay? Somebody already took Miss Dina 610 and it probably was me. And I just don't own the email address no more and don't remember doing it. Okay. And uh, you can find me on, uh, where else am I at? On the facial book. I have a page for my beauty page, Miss Dina 610, on the facial book. And there are, uh, uh, <laughs> it's all right, partner. It's all right. We weren't talking about nothing but some makeup. We weren't talking about nothing. But, um, and that's it. I think Instagram, right? Instagram, Miss Dina six ten. Uh, yeah. So I'm out here trying to get my life together. I really am believing in this beauty channel. I, you know, cause I like to be every day. Okay. I like to look like an everyday human being. Like I'm not. I don't want to look like somebody else. Like I don't want y'all to come on my channel and see me like this. And I'm like, you know, prepped or whatever. And I'm like, all right, we finna do a look. And y'all be like, the fuck. And y'all. Then when I get done. I look like, I don't, I'm, I'm looking like this. You know what I'm saying? I don't want this. Okay. I don't want, I don't want this. Although she's bomb. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for all the melanin and the black women is. Okay. I'm here for that. But what I'm saying unto you is, is you don't want me to go from this to like a whole nother phase. I believe that makeup is an enhancement and not plastic surgery. Amen. So. Baby, if you want extra sculpted brows and highlight beaming for days, baby, I can't give it to you, okay? I'm here to work out my soul makeup salvation to try to figure out how to make this stuff work on my hair face, okay? So we can all figure it out together, okay? So, shout out to y'all for supporting. Love y'all. Bye.